So thank you for joining me for today's Pilates session. Today is kind of like a what you would describe as a, a lazy day's Pilates. So if you are feeling tired, if you don't feel like doing much strenuous exercise, but you want to do something that's going to help loosen off any lower back pain, any tight hips or any tension that you're holding through the body, uh, then this session is going to work perfectly for you. It's going to be a nice laid back, lots of relaxation, lots of stretching exercises, perfect for those days where you just feel like you can't be doing anything. So all you need is a mat and a nice quiet environment where you're not going to get disturbed. This is the next 15 minutes or so is purely for you and your well-being. So it's a chance to completely escape and clear your mind so you can come back and you can real, feel really focused and, and energized and feel lighter through your body as well. So we're going to be doing everything from uh, the floor and we're going to start on our backs. So as you lay yourself down, we are going to connect with our body to begin with. So you want to lay with your legs in a semi-supine position. Just have your legs about hip width apart, feet nice and flat into the floor, heels of your feet underneath your knees and arms relaxed by your side. I'm just gonna recommend you turn the palms of your hands up because if you end up gripping into the mat, it can tense the shoulders a little bit. So you wanna stay as relaxed as possible just take your palms facing up and let the shoulders drop towards the mat. Arms relaxed. And we're just going to stretch the shoulders. So I just want you to imagine that someone's taking you by your fingertips from here and almost stretching your arms forward. So as someone starts to pull your arms and your shoulders start to drop, you can just imagine that someone's pulling your arms forward. And as they pull your arms, the shoulders drop, starting to stretch through those shoulders there, allowing your neck to just extend as well. And then we're going to relax. So as you relax, just drop the shoulders down relax and come back and then once again take those hands just lifting them just almost half an inch off the floor and then stretch them forward as if someone's trying to pull your arms and then relax again let's let them flop by your side and then just one more time just take those arms and stretch them forwards. And relax. So from there we come down. I'm going to go with the shoulders a little bit more now. So we're just going to take our arms this time and stretch nice and high. Now from here, we're just going to take one shoulder. Let's start with our right. And take an exhale, slowly start to lift the shoulder off the floor. As you imagine that your arm is being pulled to the ceiling. Your left shoulder needs to stay down. And then we're going to let that right shoulder come down slowly back onto the floor. So your arms are nice and even. And then we're going to switch. Let's take the other arm. Lift the shoulder. Stretch the arm up and then ease down. And let's go. Second time. I'm going to do this three times in total on both sides. Stretch, lift the right shoulder off the floor, reach that right arm nice and high. And then ease back down. Turn again. That left shoulder. Extend. 
and these down, and then one last time on that right. Extend and reach. These back down. So then last time on that left side. So now bring those arms so they're nice and even with each other. And then we just want to bend the elbows. So bend the elbows. So your hands are just in front of your eye line. And then we're going to open both arms. Draw them down towards the floor. And you're going to feel the shoulders starting to stretch. And just bring them as close as is comfortable for your shoulder. And then we're going to close back in. And then we're going to come back out. And pause. Turn. And then we go for the third time. Open. So your palms facing towards the ceiling. It's almost like the position looks like you are surrendering. And then we're going to come up. So actually now from here, let's hold and just take our arms and straighten the arms. And let's bring the arms nice and flat onto the floor. Let the shoulders come down. Let the back of your hands rest on the floor. And you should be able to stretch out that shoulder. One side might feel tighter than the other. But we're just going to allow both shoulders to drop to the floor. Relax both arms. Keep them nice and wide. And let's take our legs together. Knees and feet. And then we're going to drop our hips to the right. So let your hips drop to the right. Just roll your head to the left. And then we're going to come up. And then we're going to drop our hips to the left. And roll our head over to the right. So you're just helping to loosen off the lower back. So we're a little tense through the hips, through the lower back. Nice, gentle way to ease off. Just dropping those hips to a level that's comfortable. Don't have to force the, head, the hips all the way down. Legs don't have to touch the floor at all. It's just to a level that's comfortable for you. So now let's come up and let's straighten our right leg on the floor. And take our left leg to tabletop. And then slowly cross over. Now as you start to cross that left leg, you may start to feel your left shoulder lift. You want to keep that shoulder down. You want to keep the arm flat. If the arm starts to come up off the floor, the leg's got a little bit too fast. You might need to bring it up a little bit. We're going to hold from there. And then we're going to take the leg back over. And we're going to straighten the left leg on the floor. Bring the right leg to tabletop. And we show cross very slowly from there. As we keep the right arm on the floor. And we take a hold where we've gone as far as we can. And then we ease back up. Now we want to go back to that left leg again, so straighten the right leg and take the left leg up. Now this time we shall straighten. Then with the leg straight, slowly cross over, just taking a little bit more care this time because your leg is straight and the whole of your posterior chain is extended. We move the leg close us very slowly and carefully and we hold. Now from here, before we take the leg over, we bend the knee and then we bring the leg over. Now from here, just hold that left leg with your left arm and bring the knee in nice and close to your chest. And then slowly take the leg out. And now as the leg starts to come out, make sure your right hip stays on the floor. We're not going to let the body roll. We're going to keep the right hip fixed and just take that left leg slowly as far 
out as we can manage. And then we're going to come back in. And then we're going to change. So let's straighten the left leg. And then extend the right leg. And then both arms wide. And we shall then cross the right leg over. Keep it straight. Keep it long. Take it as far as is comfortable for you to go. We take a pause when we're ready. And then when we're ready to return, we bend the knee. We bring the leg over. We hold that right leg with our right arm. We bring the knee in close to our chest. And then we slowly take the leg out, keeping your left hip fixed on the floor. And then we return. So from that, we're going to bring our arms in by our side, take our legs into a semi-supine position. And from there, we take our right leg across the left leg. From that, we just open up the hip by just gently pushing that right knee away. And you feel the hip open up. It can stay in this position if you like, or you can go a little bit further by taking the left leg to a tabletop. That's going to open the hip further and the glute as well. Just bring your hands to the back of your thigh if you can, and make sure your head is down. And we hold. So if you find this position too awkward, just go back to the start position and hold from there. And if you are in this position now, we just straighten the left leg up and hold. And then release and come down. So we bring the left leg across the right leg. Again, we open the hip a little bit more then by just taking that knee gently moving the knee away, open the hip, and again, option number one, stay in position, or take option number two, bring the right leg to a tabletop, and then hands support the back of the thigh. Now you might want to keep your head rest, uh, head off the floor. If you do struggle, just use a cushion. It's recommended just to keep the head relaxed on the floor. Um, if you need to lift the head up, again, use a cushion for that. Make it comfortable for yourself. And then when you're ready, let's straighten that right leg up. And we have just a few seconds from there. So by this time, the hip lower back should be nice and loose, relaxed. So we're just going to take those arms wide one last time legs into semi-supine and drop our hips. Mobilize that lower back and drop. Let's see if you feel any lighter. A bit more mobile through your hips and through your legs as well. And then to finish off, we hug our knees into the chest. So you roll into a ball hugging close and just roll into a circle or you can rock from side to side forward or back whatever's comfortable for you and then of course you need to slowly from there make your way onto your feet as you might feel a little bit lightheaded and then hopefully once you're up you will feel lighter through your movement and feel a little bit more energized and clearer through your head as well and thank you for joining me for today's session. Take care of yourself, stay in good health. I uh, will see you soon.